guys, crazy, crazy damage to the bananas. Uh, well, one banana specifically. Uh, and I've never seen this happen before. Uh, I mean, the trunk on this was perfectly straight. Uh, it was like the most straightest uh, Namois trunk I've ever seen. Which is probably one of the reasons why it snapped like this too. So the trunk never leaned, so I never, never really worry about it tipping over or falling over because the trunk just never leaned. And um, it was really straight up. Uh, it was one of the few times well, I seen anything this vertically straight up. So the banana, ban banana bunches was hanging and then it looked fine. It was fine this whole time and then all of a sudden sometime like uh, last night or uh, early morning it snapped off and broke like broke like this it's uh, pretty crazy uh, you know usually if I see uh, some of the bananas leaning too much I kind of brace it but this this was had a trunk that didn't lean at all but the bunch of bananas got way too heavy I'm gonna show you guys bananas uh, I did cut them off I'm gonna show you guys bananas and it's probably some of the largest like single hands, like single bananas I've ever seen of the moi. So, uh, pretty crazy. Now I know, now I know to be a bit more careful, especially with these uh, banana trunks that are just going straight vertically up uh, and never lean. And some of it might not be able to brace the weight. Uh, so, so that's, that's one right here that just snapped like that. And then got some here that kind of leans. These, these ones that lean for me right here, like that. They they never break. You know, they lean a bit, but they never break. So that's why this really caught me off by surprise. And right there when it snapped. Imagine the weight on that. Um, so here is the damage. Uh, the bananas were fine, they didn't splatter or anything like that But my darn chickens, they got to them and started eating them So I'm gonna probably, uh, I mean these look like they would have kind of ripened perfectly in another half month or so So we'll see, I mean it's been very hot weather so maybe that would still sweeten up the bananas and they should be fine uh, Usually I kind of cut these up and kind of give it to family and friends but because of this, I'm not really sure how much of it I could savage, especially from the bottom ones that the chickens ate. But these are some large individual bananas of the moir that I've uh, seen before. This is, probably some of the, this is probably the largest individual hands I've seen before. So here's a sample of one of the larger hands. And Oh my gosh, it is huge. Just like one of these look like, uh, you know, it doesn't really look like a noir to me. It looks like a, one of those plantains. Uh, it's huge. So uh, it was still very squarish. So unfortunately, like I think another couple of weeks and would have been perfect. Fortunately, this is a little bit underripe. I hope it ripes, uh, ripens uh, really well just because we had really hot weather. So. Hopefully that should help out, but yep, this is my Noir. Uh, maybe then for the next bunch I'll be able to do a better recording of how it looks like ripening when it kind of turns yellow a bit on the the stalks. Unfortunately this one snapped off. Alrighty, alright, thanks everyone.